Good morning. We're students of the 6th Senior High School of Kavala and we are going to interview Stavroula Tsolakidou as part of an Erasmus Plus program on Air Together. Stavroula has been a world champion at chess three times and she's a third grade student of the 1st Senior High School of Kavala and also a member of Kavala's Chess Club. Stavroula, first of all we would like to congratulate you. Thank you on your successful course as a chess player and all your victories and distinctions. Thank you. So, let's get started. What motivated you to become a chess player? And since you are already a world champion, what motivates you to continue to play chess? Well, my father first taught me the chess moves. Uh, then I went to an after-school chess program. Uh, I participated in, in a chess tournament which actually was held in this very exact uh, school and I went it went pretty well for me. So the teacher told me, uh, suggested me to also uh, take classes in the chess club of Kavala in order to improve. So that's how everything started. At first of course it was just a hobby for me, I played for fun and I really liked it. But sooner or later I started competing in Greek, European and later in World Championships. And actually it was only after the first World Championship that I took uh, the first place that they started taking it more seriously. And I started really working hard for it. So yeah, uh, chess is a very wonderful game and I really love it. So I think loving what you do is what makes you it's definitely motivation. Yeah. How many hours do you have to train every day? Uh, at least three hours per day, but before a tournament, uh, the training gets more and more demanding. Who are the people that have supported you the most through all these years of your test experience? Yeah, first of all, my father. As I've told you, he taught me the first uh, chess moves. And he really supported me in the first uh, years of my his career. Also Mr. Uh, Theodoridis Vasilios, who is not only the head of the chess club in Kavala, but also the vice president of the Greek Chess Federation, supports me a lot, especially after my father passed away in 2014. And I really owe him a lot. So uh, of course all the trainers I have so far uh, really helped me a lot. But especially the one I have since 2014, uh, the Grandmaster Papayano Yanis is very special for me and he helped me very much. Uh, apart from everything, every special thing he taught me, uh, he also made me love chess more. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> In your opinion, what are the characteristics of a successful chess player? Well, apart from the purely chess skills, I think it's very important for a chess player to have a strong fighting spirit, uh, good nerves, uh, the ability to cope with pressure, uh, handle both failure and success, and definitely to be disciplined and work uh, very hard. How hard is it to combine studying with training, since you are a world champion, but at the same time a high achiever at school? Yeah, it is really hard indeed, because it's not only the trainings that I have to do every day, but I also have to take part in many tournaments during the year, so that's, I miss many classes at school. And when I return at school, it's a chaos, you know, it's a disaster, but yeah. then... <laughs> okay. Have you ever thought of quitting school or chess, perhaps? Well, school, not uh, really. But chess, I have, I have thought a lot of times to quit it, mainly because of the pressure because it's very high, but in, at the end of the day I always realize that I cannot live without it because it's, I don't love anything else as much as I love chess so my life would be miserable without it. Yes. Yeah. What advice would you give to young boys and girls who want to take up chess? Mm. Well, I think the most important thing is to love what they do and enjoy the game and also not to care so much about the result. Yeah. How many different countries in which have you visited so far to take part in a tournament? Well, I have not really counted <laughs> ne ever, but I think it's approximately 20 countries or something like that. Yeah, and mostly European countries. 
Well, that's amazing. Mm -hmm. uh, you're almost 18 years old and you've been traveling non-stop for the last eight years, if I'm not mistaken. What do you think about gaining so many experiences at such a young age? Yeah, it's a privilege to have been able to travel so much from such a young age. I mean, I have traveled to many countries and also met a lot of people, which is awesome. Yeah, and that's also one of the things that keep me playing chess. What is the most intense memory that you have gained mm. from being a competitive chess player? Yeah, uh, many intense memories, actually. But Tell now, the first one that comes to my mind is in the World Championship in 2016, in the sixth round. Well, I was leading at that point. I had half point more than the other players. And I was playing pretty well. I had a technically winning position, but then I started playing really badly, and suddenly I lost. Uh, I didn't even realize how I lost. So I went uh, when I went out of the pl playing hall. I, I went straight to the my trainer, and I was like, "You cannot imagine what I did. I lost. I lost. I mean, only I, I'm the only person who could have lost that position. And yeah, but then okay, I got over it and played well in the next games and somehow just <laughs> managed to take the first place. What was the most difficult opponent that you had to confront and why? Hmm. Well, I have played against many strong opponents so I could not really name one. But I think that, to tell you the truth, the most difficult opponent is myself when I get super nervous uh, without reason, without real reason. <laughs> Yes. And yeah. what was the most difficult game that you won and why? Mm -hmm. uh, I think in the World Championship in 2015, in the semi-final round, because of course it was a very stressful game, because the result of it would partly determine who was going to be the champion. And also during the game there were many ups and turns. It was a very complicated game. And another thing which was pretty important was that the championship was held in Greece, actually. So that made me a little bit more anxious about the result. Tell us about your future goals. What are your future goals? Well, after finishing school, I would like to enter university and keep playing chess, uh, hopefully in a professional level. University here in Greece or abroad? I'm not sure yet. <laughs> I'm still trying to find out. So, what would your dream job be? Have you ever thought of playing chess as a future job? Yeah, as I've said before, I would really like to play chess professionally, keep playing competitively, and maybe later on to also become a chess trainer. Yeah. And train little <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Has chess affected your personal and social life and yeah. how? Uh, definitely. Uh, my personal and social life has been affected. Um, I don't have that much free time, uh, you know, every day, but I tra have traveled a lot, so have met many people, uh, have many friends from all over the world, which is great, so okay. As you said, <laughs> you don't have much. Uh, free time, but when you do have some, how do you like spending it? Uh, I do like uh, listening to music, uh, doing sports maybe, watching to my fa favorite TV series and you know, spending time with friends definitely. Like teenagers. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, that was it. Setting such high goals and achieving them has made you a person that we all look up to. Thank you so thank much. You. Thank you very much. <laughs>